If you've ever received a friend request or follower that seemed too good to be true, like say a supermodel or foreign royalty, you may have been the victim of a social media scam. Fake social media accounts are created to promote phony products, impersonate people, spread scams, and share lies and misinformation. It's important to spot these scam accounts right away before you engage with their content. Hi, I'm Katie, your friendly neighborhood tech expert. Today, I'll teach you how to spot a fake social media account. There are a few telltale signs to look out for, starting with the account's profile picture. If the account doesn't have a profile picture, or they have one, but it doesn't seem to match the content of their profile, it may be an imposter. I suggest using Google's reverse image search feature to see if their photo was stolen from elsewhere on the internet. If you receive a friend request from someone you know you are friends with already, reach out to your friend before you accept. There's a good chance they are being impersonated by a troll. One simple sign that an account is legit is a verification badge, which is a blue check mark on most platforms. If the account says they are a celebrity or other high profile user, but they don't have a verification badge next to their profile, you can be almost certain that they are a scam. Next, skim the account's content. Scammers often fill their feeds with stock photos and memes rather than original images. Accounts specifically designed to spread misinformation or sway political opinions frequently share one-sided and often extreme viewpoints. Finally, check out their follower count. Account owners can buy followers, so a fake account may have thousands of followers but little to no engagement on their posts. Platforms like Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook all have their own options to report fake profiles. As a general rule, if you suspect that a social media account is fake, it is best to trust your gut and report them. You could be protecting yourself or someone else from getting scammed. That's it for this edition of Tech Tips. Check back soon for another tip to make your technology work for you.